My impression of the NGU pharmacy students, judging by what I've seen so far, is that they are bright, they are engaged, they are determined to do something with themselves. And I feel very, very happy indeed to be involved in this collaboration between UCL and NGU because I think that the bar is being set very high at NGU. You're going for the top end of the market, which is exactly the right thing to do. And really what I think is very, very likely as a prospect is that these are going to be the next healthcare leaders, not just within Egypt, but within the region as well. I think the most memorable and uh, marked qualities that I see of NGU as a university is firstly its values in that there is a real and tangible determination to actually produce only the very, very best graduates, uh, which of course is what is absolutely required and that is a value that we share as well at UCL. But I think NGU has another advantage and that is that it's very nimble. That because it's quite a new university, it's able to actually adapt very quickly in a world which, let's be honest, in healthcare is changing on a, a daily or weekly basis. So that not only are new technologies coming through, but new best practices are coming through as well. And I feel that NGU have positioned themselves so that they're very, very able to adapt to any changes that may occur and pass that on to their students so that the students are actually future-proofed, so that they're actually able to adapt to whatever life may throw at them in the future. I think I envisage the uh, outcome of the collaboration between NGU and UCL looking forward as firstly obviously being to produce absolutely excellent graduates because the graduates are going to be the primary ambassadors for this collaboration and I'm supremely confident from what I've seen so far that we're going to be producing absolutely outstanding people to take our healthcare uh, systems forward. But also I can see there's a lot of opportunity for research collaboration. I also see opportunities in terms of postgraduate um, training as well, perhaps in clinical pharmacy. And again, I think that this is something that we can actively explore. So it's not just a collaboration, it's actually become a friendship between uh, UCL and NGU. And when you have that good relationship and that trust, then all new ideas can actually be processed and considered in a very positive way. So who knows, but whatever it is, it's going to be wonderful.